Now the question everybody wants to know here is, uh, how did this all get started? It goes back a long time. I was trying to work out how to keep warm. That water gets down below 50 degrees. And I would make some wetsuits and get laughed at. I was thinking I'm going to have a surf shop down at the beach and have a few friends. And I never dreamed anything like this would happen. I think he has a pretty good uh, picture about how ubiquitous surfing has become due to his invention uh, or his innovations in the wetsuit world. But he opened a lot of those doors himself. He went to Australia, Japan, he went to Europe. We didn't have any money to put in for advertising, so we've always been very nice to the press and they've been very nice. To you. <laughs> Unbelievable guy and just such an honor to meet him and be here today and uh, to see where the company's come from and, and gone is unbelievable and uh, yeah, just really happy to be a part of it. Jack's always been magnanimous and some of the Sea Odyssey uh, events are really great for the kids to learn ocean preservation and ocean safety. We teach them that the ocean is alive and we've got to take care of it. The Sea Odyssey program has given an experience of a living ocean to over 50,000 kids already. A lot of them have been changed by that experience demonstrably, and I think that would be a, a legacy that he could feel really proud of and would be really satisfied that he was able to have that kind of effect uh, with a new generation. Well, Jack certainly fulfilled his life ambition as just to be a waterman and be around the ocean and care for the ocean and help others care for it. So he's, he's got my full respect.